In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to use the EasyBib add-on to create a properly formatted Works Cited page. This is the easiest way to do it. Let the tool format it for you. So we're going to come up to our add-ons. We're going to use that EasyBib bibliography creator that we installed in the previous tutorial. We're going to come over and click on Manage Bibliography. Over on the right, it's going to open up a Cite a Source panel. You can see it says Easy Bib, and there are three options here. Oftentimes in English class, you're going to use book, but there'll be other times where you may need to do article or website. In this example, I'm going to use book. I'm going to use my favorite book, The Catcher in the Rye. I read it every other year, so it's a great book. I'm going to click on search. It's going to give up a list of books that have Catcher in the Rye in the title. Some of them may be books based on it. Most of the time, if you come to the, the top option, verify the author, you should be fine. I'm going to click Select. It's going to add that to my bibliography. I'm not going to add it yet. I want to show you an example of, usually you want to wait until you've cited all of your sources. So let's say I'm using the book as a reference. And then I'm also going to use this article I found on the Catcher in the Rye, this website. I'm going to copy it, come back in. I'm going to come to the Website tab, paste that in, the website URL, search. And you kind of verify that that was the website you used. Click Select. And now you can see both entries in our bibliography. Now I'm going to click Add Bibliography to Doc. I'm going to make sure my cursor is down on the second page here where our Works Cited page needs to be the last page. And I'm going to click Add Bibliography to Doc. Automatically has it centered, Times New Roman, and formatted exactly like we want. You may need to copy and paste it in a different order but essentially that gives you a MLA formatted works cited page very easily.